Today, we're diving into some exciting leaks about Samsung's upcoming user interface, One UI 7. Buckle up, because it seems like a major overhaul is coming with Android 15. Now, you might be thinking, hold on, isn't Android 15 still in development? Well, you'd be right, but that hasn't stopped Samsung from getting a head start. Leaker Tarun Vats recently spotted a Galaxy S23 Ultra running an early version of One UI 7 with Android 15. This is pretty impressive considering most of us are still on Android 14. The leak suggests some interesting changes in One UI 7, and some might remind you of iOS 18. We're talking about rounder app icons with a 3D look similar to what Apple might be doing. The gallery app icon is also rumored to get colorful makeover, echoing the design of Apple's Photos app. But wait, there's more. One UI 7 might allow for more customization on your lock screen. Imagine having more shortcuts and actions readily available in those corner slots. Samsung might even be implementing a split notification shade, separating your notifications from quick settings. This sounds quite similar to how Apple's control center works. Now, before we jump to conclusions, it's important to remember that Android and iOS are not identical twins. However, there's no denying that they've been borrowing ideas from each other over the years. While this might make some phones feel a bit homogenous, there's logic behind it. After all, wouldn't you be confused if a car company suddenly swapped the brake and gas pedals? Familiarity can be a good thing. While Google typically launches the newest Android version with their Pixel phones in October, this year might be different. Their upcoming Pixel 9 series event is happening in August and rumors suggest these Pixels will be the first to officially sport Android 15. This could potentially be the official unveiling of the new OS. Remember how Samsung usually beats Google to the punch with their new UI? That trend seems to be continuing. With Google announcing Android 15 stability, Samsung is wasting no time testing it on their current flagships. They're planning to open a public beta program for One UI 7.0 in the coming months. The beta program is likely to start with a Galaxy S24 series and a foldable Z Fold 6. Galaxy S23 users will probably join the party a little later. After a few months of testing, Samsung is expected to release the stable version of One UI 7 for compatible high-end phones. Here's some good news for Galaxy S23 and Z Fold 5 owners. Even after receiving One UI 7, your phone will still be eligible for two more major Android updates. That's on top of the impressive five years of security updates Samsung promises for these devices. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 also benefits from this extended support. So what are your thoughts on One UI 7 and the inspiration it seems to take from iOS 18? Do you like the idea of a more customizable lock screen and a potentially revamped notification shade? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware, thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3X zoom and ultra wide sensors are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option, and not just any RAM, but the industry first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. 
Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent Fort chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops this chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more! We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization, in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in! I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.